Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Uh, today's beer comes from Ren House Brewing. They're out in Arizona. This is their Big Spill Pills. And they've made several different versions of this beer, guys. Uh, with different hops. Uh, Nelson Salvin, Mosaic, and several other different hops. But they don't put that on the can. I don't have any idea which one I'm drinking here, guys. And it doesn't have any ABV on it. He has sent me, this comes from Neil. He has sent me two Rent House Brewing beers. And neither one of them have any information as far as ABV or what hops they're using or anything like that. So I don't have any idea, guys. Uh, and their dating machine is prints very, very small. Looks like it's either 05 or 0610 of 21. So I don't know which version I have here, guys. Uh, he didn't send a note with it. I don't have any idea of which one to look up. Uh, but they're all very low ABV beers, 4.7%. Again, another session beer that he has sent me. Uh, I don't session beers, guys. I don't buy session beers. So uh, I'm going to try to be as honest as I can with it. But uh, these lawnmower beers are something that this guy doesn't buy. Uh, so... Uh, is what it is there. I do appreciate it. Send them to me so I can try it, but I don't buy these low ABV session beers, guys. Uh, over to Untapped 2X CBA gold medal winner. So, I mean, they've won medals with this beer. Uh, is a 4.7 German influence lager highlighting one of our favorite hops in the world. It says Nelson, but I don't know if, it, what, if this is the Nelson version, the Mosaic version, or which version I have here, guys. It doesn't have it on the label. They need to put that on the label. They're probably using the same label for every one of the beers that they do. Uh, so they're not putting any ABV or any hop information on there. So I don't know. Uh, says uh, brewed with 100% pills and malt fermented low and slow with our house German lager yeast hopped out delicately with Siles and Nelson in the cow again according to what version I have uh, they probably use different hops there so I'm not going to go any further with that I don't know what I have here guys uh, they should put that stuff on the label but they did not they do not so again another 4.7 percent lawnmower beer uh, uh, that we're reviewing I don't review a lot of those because most people don't send me those beers but we do get them occasionally uh, so we're gonna find out so that's all I need to go over so big 16 ounce can uh, plain Jane silver can with a stick on wrap around label very light color coming out almost has no colors it's so light yellow And that's a full glass. And that glass holds 16 ounces, but just barely. All right. It says dry hopped. Big spill pills. I have made some lagers before, guys, and really aggressively hopped them. So they were fairly hoppy. Uh, very different for the style. Most of these uh, Saws and Tetanang and Golding hops, you get the, they don't do anything other than have that same grassy grainy uh, appearance and taste uh, is what it is very light golden color almost looks like a micro lager in the glass looks like a pilsner what do you think to the nose we go again the grassy graininess is not off the chain it's kind of subdued but I'm not getting any you know if they 
they they dry hopped it. They probably dry hopped it with a European style hop. So you're not going to get any any kind of pine or grapefruit or any of those kind of things that go with your typical I, typical IPA. So here's what it is here, guys. Let's dive in. Cheers. Thank you, Neil. I appreciate it. Now I'm going to taste I'm getting a little grapefruit. Maybe I hand up some white grapes in there too. So Maybe this is the Nelson Sauvin uh, edition. I don't know. I'm pleasantly surprised it's not that super grassy grainy taste that most of the Pilsners and uh, traditional Pilsners and lagers have. So uh, a little bit more taste. So that's a good thing. Plus it has a canned on date, not a Best Buy date. So that's another good thing. And the alcohol is super well hidden because it's only 4.7%. So a good session long more beer, guys. Uh, especially if you're not into the ales and you like the lager Pilsner style. This may be a good one to pick up. Especially if you can get it in your area. Like I said, uh, the, they're out of Arizona. I don't know what their distribution is. Uh, but it's claiming to be a German Pilsner. Uh, so, it's what it is there, guys. So, uh, good lawnmower beer, good pool beer, good beach beer, uh, good session beer. Like I said, alcohol is basically non-existent. So, if you're looking for, I don't know, I'm going to call it a light beer, a, a lighter ABV beer. Uh, so, uh right out of the fridge. Let's go sip on it. See what we got. Alright guys, I'm back. Sipping on it for a little while. Uh, the upside, it doesn't have that super grassy, grainy, hay uh, smell and taste that most of them do. Uh, it does have some grapefruit taste to it, so that's a plus for this guy anyway. But again, another uh, session beer, lawnmower beer. Uh, but with a little more taste than what most of them have. So, uh, but still, very low ABV at 4.7. A good, a very good grapefruit, not more beer. Final show. Uh, not something this guy would buy or purchase, but if this is your cup of tea, <coughs> this would be a good one. Uh, I think it's a well made beer. Uh, like I said, the alcohol is super well hidden uh, with a, just a tad more taste than your typical Pilsner lager is going to have with the grapefruit going on in this one. So uh, I just wish they would put a little more information on the label, the ABV, and if they're doing multiple different versions with different hops, put that on that label too or, or something so we'll know which one we're, we're getting. So I don't have any idea which one I have here, guys. So with that being said, date on it but no ABV on it so B plus just barely 86 from me on this one uh, and not knowing which one I have I don't know which one to look up on Beer Advocate uh, I don't know uh, I don't know what to tell you because I don't, I don't know which one I'm drinking guys here so I'm just going to leave it at that uh, since I don't know which hop they've used on this one I don't know which one to look up on either side to get an accurate grade so I'm just going to give you my grade on this particular one so uh, not knowing any more than I do know is what it is 86 for me barely very barely into the B plus range and that's all because it has a canned on date that is the only reason it's giving the B plus other than that if it didn't it wouldn't get that grade so if you had the big peel big spill peels Maybe you got more information than I do by looking at the can. I don't have any idea what I've got. I try to find out by looking at different versions and the can look different or the label look different. <coughs> I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't figure it out. So, don't know what I got. Uh, so, if you got more information, put it in the comments. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.